So you're saying with Hilton Honors, I can use points for a free night stay anywhere? Anywhere. What about fancy places like the Canopy in Paris? Yeah, Hilton Honors, baby. Or relaxing sanctuaries like the Conrad in Tulum? Hilton Honors, baby. Ooh, what about the five-star Waldorf Astoria in the Maldives? Are you going to do this for all 7,000 hotels and resorts? When you want points that can take you anywhere, it matters where you stay. Hilton for the stay. Hi, me cuties. We're so excited to let you know that you can now binge our newest series, Influence, exclusively and ad-free on Wondery Plus. It's Meet Cute's modern adaptation of Jane Austen's Persuasion, and we know you're going to love it. Oh my word, Charmy, what a rush! Did you see Blanche in there? With her dress sword and her dress arrows, throwing punches at those bulls! She was unstoppable! It was just like if Kira Knightley were Johnny Depp in Pirates of the Caribbean, or, or if Robin Wright became Manny Patinkin in The Princess Bride, or, I mean, I guess just like Uma Thurman just being herself and Kill Bill. I suppose I don't have the same constitution as you both. All that fighting in First Shed seems so unreasonable and unnecessary to me. And Second Kingdom can't seem to understand the wonders of releasing the Heart Chakra, no matter how many guided meditations I host. I wish there were more of you in the world. My world, Charmy. If only everyone felt the way you did. What do you mean? I fear my betrothed doesn't think I'm up to scratch to lead. And based on tonight's performance, I certainly won't be by the time our big day comes. <gasps> what was that? It must be the big bad wolves retreating from Blanche in the brawl at the fairy ballroom. We better get off the road. I've imagined my own death several times, and it has never included being swallowed whole by a fairy tale wolf so I could cut myself out from the inside. Ugh. I must say, milady, you might have one of the darkest imaginations I have ever encountered. Well, when it's fed with stories about witches eating children and houses made of gingerbread before the age of six, the young mind develops in interesting ways. <gasps> you hear that? It's the bubbling of Fire Lake just ahead. If we cut across, we could stay out of sight and make it to the cottage before sunrise. Is that when you turn back into a pumpkin? I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah! Are you sure it's safe? This rowboat looks mighty rustic to me. Safer than a pack of rabid wolves looking for revenge. You made such a mess of everything. You should have heard Blanche tonight. The minute she taught me my first lesson, I turn around and fall into the very stereotype she was trying to subvert. Which stereotype was that? That princes are powerful and will save the day, while princesses are helpless and need to be saved. Oh, I see. At the risk of falling into the other male stereotype of constantly needing my ego stroked, that was a bit hard to hear. I, I, I'm, I'm really sorry, but... But maybe, maybe your form of saving is different. Here you are, rowing me away from danger and, and doing the most courageous thing of the night. Sharing your authentic feelings when you know it will be hard for the person you're telling to hear. Maybe. Look, for whatever it's worth, it's been a while since I met a guy who was so in touch with his feelings. Hearing you speak, Knowing there are guys like you out there? That's another way you've saved me tonight. Thank you. But Blanche is right. I'm not a warrior. I've never even wanted to be one. It makes zero sense to me. When you raise children and they hit each other, you say, Stop that. Use your words. But when we're adults, we suddenly think it's righteous to settle disagreements with a fist or a sword. I have never heard it articulated so well. <laughs> I mean, you would have if you saw my one-man show in high school. It was called Nama Say No to Violence. <laughs> you did it. Yeah, I was the laughing stock of Charming Academy that year. <laughs> well, at least your family owns school. Oh, because of the Charming? No, uh, Charming is a common last name for a royal prince. Of course, like, like Smith or Jones. <sighs> There's a monotony to being Charming. Um, I think... We're all just desperate to feel safe. And how each of us feels safe is, is completely different. Like, uh, for Blanche, that means conquering a ballroom full of growling mafioso canines. Okay. So what about you? What makes me feel safe? Hmm. 
Um, honestly, control. I am a complete control freak. In fact, I think that's why I opened a bookstore. You opened a bookstore? Yeah, so? No, I, I've never met a lady who, who operated her own business before. And a bookstore. I mean, that must be why you're so interesting and intelligent uh, and quick. Uh, please stop. No, lady Amelia, I, uh, no, I apologize if I, if I upset you, but I, I was trying to pay you a compliment. What's the matter? You don't want to know what's the matter with me. Trust me, the story does not pass the Bechdel test. Well, no offense to Lady Bechdel, but yes, I do. And not just because we have an entire lake to cross. Oh boy. Well, he had frosted tips, spiked hair, and a face like Eric Von Detten. I wish I knew what any of those details meant, but nonetheless, your capacity for conjuring a scene Team is... Poppin Suds? Oh, if you ever visit me in my world, we need a made-for-TV movie marathon. <laughs> I would love to visit you in your world. Long story short, I fell in love with a boy, and the boy fell in love with my unconventionally beautiful best friend. Oof, that is painful, even in this world. But we do have potions for that. I couldn't change who I was with magic, Charmy. So I read every book I could find that led to a happy ending for its female protagonist. Kind to animals, beautiful singing voice. A tragic backstory, but without the complex PTSD that followed them into adulthood. And I got to work trying to transform myself into them. I knew how every story ended and what the characters did to get there. If I could do that, then I knew I would finally be the one who deserved to be loved. And then, something deeply tragic happened. Oh, I know. You were forced to battle your evil twin. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, an endless winter plagued your kingdom. Oh, did a sorceress curse your best friend to live as a cricket for the rest of his life? Worse. The narrative changed. Oh. Oh, no. Here, here, take my jacket. Thank you. You're a prince. I really am. <laughs> Check my birth scroll. <laughs> <laughs> so then, Jeremy, somewhere in my 20s, uh, love stories change. And instead of the leading ladies being demure, helpless, and the perfect stay-at-home princess, it was actually attractive to be educated, effortlessly witty, and empowered by this overwhelming sense of self. But, Amelia, you are all of those things. I could have been, but I spent years training myself to play the role of princess. And, and I grew resentful. I was raised to find a prince by society. Then society changes its mind and tells me I have to be my unique self to find my happily ever after? How can I do that when my whole life I was taught to be who everyone else wanted? I don't even know how to start being myself. I'm not even sure I know what I like, what I want, who I am. If it helps, I do know a certain magic mirror. He'll tell you exactly who you are. How far are we from home? I need to talk to Blanche. She was trying to tell me something tonight. It could be the key to figuring out who I am. Amelia, please, please sit down. It's not safe. <sighs> Besides, do you hear yourself? You just proclaimed you need to find out who you are and your solution is to ask Blanche? I heard Blanche belch publicly while wearing trousers. That girl is evolved. That lady is putting the needs of her kingdom above her own happiness. What do you mean above her own happiness? She has you and you're literally Prince Charming. <laughs> oh, you are brilliant, Amelia, and yet the subtext has evaded you? You're just angry she left during the song you wrote for her, and I know that sucked. I tried to stop her, but- Oh, <laughs> you daft, beautiful woman. I wrote that song for you. <gasps> did you just toss our oars away? I did. Are we anywhere near? Not even close. Can we dive in, swim ashore? It's called Fire Lake, Amelia. I... I just don't know. This is bad. This is so bad. Are we referring to the state of water, or the fact that I'm simply mad for my betrothed's new best friend, and I can't stop writing about her? Do you really think Blanche considers me her new best friend? Just... Okay, I wrote this poem for you. Just listen. Lady Amelia, with hair that shines like gold, eyes as deep as the ocean, a face like the porcelain moon, a full moon in the sky, up so high in the sky, <laughs> okay, you know what? It, it's a work in progress. Just, Amelia, I love you, okay? I love you. You are my true love. Uh, that is what I'm trying to say. 
okay? Please say something. But you don't even know me. I don't. Sure, you may be different. You may have a third act I completely disagree with or a character trait I find absolutely unbearable. But Amelia, you're the first story that I've wanted to see through till the very end in a long time. What's happening? Shh. Do you, do you hear that? I thought it was only a legend. What? What's happening? Are those fireflies? Where's that music coming from? Did we die? Is this death? Golden sparklers. Well, they say when a true declaration of love is made and received, the golden sparklers will surround the couple and guide them towards happiness. The boat is moving. Why is the boat moving? Charmy, make it stop. Amelia, I'm here. Just, just give in. This moment isn't mine. Those words, these golden sparkly whatevers, th this is all for Blanche. I know that you're my story, Amelia. I can't, I can't kiss my princess's prince. Amelia, I, there's something that you need to hear. I, I'm sorry, Charmy, I can't. If you, if you would just come back to the cottage with me and we can find Blanche and together we will explain everything. No, Charmy, I can't go back there. Amelia, I implore you. If you Bye, Prince Charming. What? Oh. Amelia, wait! And they all lived happily ever after. I'm exposing them to a new perspective. All it does is waste my time and your time. Amelia. So, it doesn't have a happy ending, then it's not a fairy tale. Well, fairy tales don't have to be all princess and princess. You're a witch. You're a witch. You're a witch. Hey there, Polly. I have to set things right. Ugh. been searching the main streets of Second Kingdom for hours. What was she doing out of the kitchen? Somehow my hair is dry and frizzy, although my gown is still soaking wet. There has to be a bookstore around here somewhere. I know that's where I'll find my answers. Door with a quill. Nice fine girl. I'll take it. Ah. Hi there, hi. Wow, am I glad I found you. I'm having a sort of quarter-life crisis. Actually, I guess in this world it's a full-on midlife crisis. Sorry, I'm nervous. Am I sweating? Anyway, anytime I'm feeling a bit upstream, I turn to books, so I figured this would be the place. Oi, didn't I see you at Fairy Ballroom last night? Mm -hmm. You know, this bookstore is only for very desperate times. Complete lost souls. And my second job is to tend bar, so I know what I'm talking about. Hook? What are you doing here? Ah, la, 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 la. Who is Hook? My name is Corky O'Tagern Three Sheets McCoy. I transcribe these texts myself. It's a pretty tough gig with one hand, but I get the job done. Our library is huge. Especially considering most of us don't read. Ah, of course. A literacy initiative. Lynch should absolutely- You know Princess B. She told me your story. Oh, man. Sure, I lost my hand serving my kingdom, and once they found out who I slept next to at night, they took away my benefits and my retirement, but... Ugh. You must have been furious. Aye, of course. Once I was a captain of the highest rank, now I sling ale, work two jobs, and dole out free advice to weirdos. No offense. I get it. Is it the gown? Yeah, mostly. But look at that guy in the corner over there, browsing our creative ways to punish female children section. Has twelve daughters. Locks them in their room every night, and then each morning, they come downstairs and their shoes are all worn down to the soles. Have him lock the windows and check for a trapdoor. I Trust me. Or that lady over there, in the gardening section. Her son has sold their last milk cow for beans. Total ripoff. The guy told him they were magic. <laughs> you should tell her to invest in a high-quality axe pronto. Maybe you should have this job. I kind of already have this job. People are usually good at giving others advice when they have no idea how to help themselves. Listen, people are gonna do what people are gonna do. 
I try to remember that. Look, I don't think you're going to find what you're looking for in any of these books here. But, if you can keep a secret, a low profile, and a stiff drink down, I think I know the woman who can help you. Welcome to the castle of the evil queen, babe. Grisella? I'll make you an apple martini. <laughs> so you're saying with Hilton Honors, I can use points for a free night stay anywhere? Anywhere. What about fancy places like the Canopy in Paris? Yeah, Hilton Honors, baby. Or relaxing sanctuaries like the Conrad in Tulum? Hilton Honors, baby. Ooh, what about the five-star Waldorf Astoria in the Maldives? Are you going to do this for all 7,000 hotels and resorts? When you want points that can take you anywhere, it matters where you stay. Hilton for the stay.